Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's your girl Tay here on Mahogany Lifestyle. If this is your first time viewing one of my videos, thank you for clicking the link and joining the gang and seeing what my channel is all about. It's good to have you here and welcome. Um, if you like these types of videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and become part of the gang. So that way you're notified every time I upload another video. If you are a returning viewer or returning subby, Hey girl, hey, good to see you back. Um, I look forward to you guys growing with me. But yeah, today's video is all about the get ready with me process, right? So I have a couple of videos that I want to shoot. I'm about to do another Shein try on haul with some really great pieces. Um, so make sure you stay tuned for that video. If you haven't already uh, caught up on my Shein loungewear video that I recently put out, make sure you go ahead and check that video out as well uh i kept it really short really cute um but it was some really great things and i also have some really great things to show you guys so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and get into it this is again gonna be a really quick get ready with me a little spritz of the hair nothing too much but show you how the process begins so if you like these type of videos make sure you give your girl a thumbs up it helps out with my content make sure you subscribe Comment down below, and of course, make sure you share the video. If you got a girlfriend, auntie, a sister, a cousin, a whoever, she needs to know that your girl Tay is here and you are feeling the content. So go ahead and make sure you share it with those people. And without further ado, we're getting to it. Okay. I've already primed, actually. I've had to like restart already a couple of times. So I already have some primer on my face. I'm not gonna add any more. I'm gonna go in with this LA Girl Pro and I'm just going to do a little correcting underneath my eyes, being that I do have these little dark spots. And this is just going to help with taking care of that. So how are you guys doing? Are you guys getting ready for the holidays? I know a lot of people are out here doing their Vlogmas thing. Um, I haven't really started or gotten into that yet. Hopefully next year I can definitely, you know, bust that out a little bit, but yeah. You know, I'm just getting into the group of things, so taking my time with it. I wanna make sure that the content I'm providing you guys with is quality. Um, so again, I definitely look forward to hearing you guys and your suggestions. And what are you thinking about these videos that I'm posting and, you know, ideas for upcoming videos that you guys might be interested in seeing me put out for you. So yeah, you know, I have my little correction where I need it. So I have that there. I'm going to go on with this beauty blender really quickly and... Go ahead and blend this out here. I also want to hit around my mouth. I'm noticing some hyperpigmentation in that area. So, yeah. Just want to make sure we get those problematic areas taken care of early. So again, I'm just going to go in and Get those areas corrected from now. The eyes, we're gonna go in. Okay. Make sure we get underneath the eyes. Very nice. And then we'll go in over here. And mind you, this is supposed to be just for correction, but um, it's actually doing its thing, I think. Tell me what you girls think. Huh? The LA Pro? It doesn't come to play at all, so I'm happy for that because it makes my job a little easier, right? 
when the products that you use actually perform the way they need to. All right. So this is looking good. Um, no foundation yet. All right. We just hitting those areas. And yeah, I think this is looking really good. So we're going to go in and give this a little shaky shake. And this is the CoverGirl Fit Me in 355. And this is um, a matte finishing foundation. So this should be good. We're helping to control the shine. I do get a little shiny sometimes. So yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of this on the back of my hand. I actually really need a good foundation brush is what I need, but I think I'm going to work with this. So this brush is by BS Small, and this is Face Flat Angled Brush. And this is here. It's in a beautiful black and rose gold. But yeah, these brushes are really good. Um, you can find them on Amazon and, you know, they're really soft. The fibers are good. And I'm just going to go in around where I put that LA girl. Because remember, I'm not doing too much. I just want to get some coverage on the face. Right? Look alive for you ladies. <laughs> look alive, look alive. Yeah, so this is what we're doing with this. Not much. Just gonna go around that contour and yeah just add a little bit to the face to the sides of the nose that's good now i'm gonna go back in with the bottom of my beauty blender and i'm just gonna dab just make sure this is blended in right we're not using a lot so there's not much but we want to make sure. Girl, it look like I'm beating the hell out of my face. But I promise you I'm not. So I'm going to go on with this RX by Kiss 3D Face Creator Cream Foundation. And I'm actually going to use this to contour. Um, as you can see, this side works really good. So I'm going to go on with that. And yeah, we're going to bring it this way. Yeah, I actually like how it mm, gave you just a little extra cheekbone action there. So that was cute. I'm also going to go with this and I'm going to start at my brow and drag it down. And so now we can go into blending this out. So I'm going to go ahead and start this. So that is the nose contour. Don't want to do too much. I think that's just enough. And I'm going to take my makeup brush and just kind of blend this contour in. We don't want it really harsh, right? We don't want it really harsh. We just want to get it blended in so there's no harsh line. And this is actually looking really cute, guys. Let me know what you think. That's pretty good. I'm liking, I'm liking. All right, we're gonna go with some blush now. And I think I will do Auto Bomb Girl Powder. And this is a cute little blush. So that's the color. Uh, sorry, got some fallout. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Cute little blush. Um, this did come in my monthly Epsi subscription. So yeah, these little subscriptions are really great, ladies, if you want to try out products and don't really want to commit to full size um bottles or you know containers. These little Epsi and I think Sephora and also all has these subscriptions where you can try products monthly to see how you like them. So yeah, I think that's definitely great. 
and they really help me out with these videos because I have little stuff that I can try out for you guys right here on camera right without having to run and go break the bank every time yeah so I think that looks cute I'll go back with my beauty blender again and just make sure we go over these things and so they're good to go all right we're now going to try try to finesse these brows brows are always my kryptonite i don't know why i'm going to use some of this brow gel let's kind of brush them up make sure all the hairs are going in the same direction all right See how that works out for us. Also want to add, while I'm at it, I think I'm gonna add a little concealer to my lid. Right. And we'll add a little bit more here. And it's not a whole lot. But I do want to get some coverage on my lids. I may decide to throw on some shadow. And if I do, I want to make sure that I have the coverage on here that's needed. Then I'll go back in with my beauty blender and kind of blend that out girl had um you know a great start to the weekend my friday didn't enter this morning so you know i need a little pick me up wake up so the amigos oh, the casamigos if i can write you a book and tell you the stories but anyway let's get back to this all right so the eyebrows is brushed up We've added some concealer to the lids just to wake up the eyes a little bit more. And now we're going to try to attempt to fix these brows. Again, pardon me for keep going that way. However, that's how things are set up at the moment. And I honestly don't even think I have the right brow pencil. I actually found this in the Dollar Tree. And this is a LA Colors Defines and Fills Brow pencil in medium so yeah this is that okay has a little brush on the end i don't know this medium is looking a little grayish so i'm going to try and see if this is going to work out in the package it looks a little grayish so let's see i'm going to warm it up on the back of my hand just because you know that new pencil sometimes be rough. Well, it actually gives off a really good color. So let's try this. Okay. See, it's just I have to get quiet because these brows are serious. I don't have my little mirror here to decide for me to reference so girl we acting like a big girl with these brows today so i'm not gonna do too much because we don't have time to fix but yeah i think we're doing okay with the brows okay so that's about it for that and I'm not even gonna go up and clean underneath and highlight and all of that because it's not necessary. So I'm going to go in with my True Beauty collection um, eyeshadows. I'm sorry, it looks horrible, I know. Haven't cleaned these things off. Um, and I was going through stuff and just, you know, made a mess. So this is it, True Beauty. And I love the brown shade in here. So that's where we're going to go. We'll actually start off with this color here. 
this color here and then we're moving to the brown to warm it up so i have a fluffy brush here from be a small this one doesn't stay um you know but it's a nice fluffy brush and hopefully this will give me a really good sweep across so we're going into that color and we're going to pack it on And then we're gonna go in with another brush. This one is a little bit more tapered. This one is a little bit more tapered. And we're gonna go in with that brown. And we're gonna go in with that brown. Okay. This is actually really great for placing as opposed to blending. So I'm going to switch back to another little angled blending brush to go in with that brown. Okay. And then again, I'll use this placement brush to kind of go in and Maybe add some champagne color here to the lid. Okay. And this we're just placing. Okay. We're just placing this on the lid. I do have hooded eyes, so shadow on me sometimes get lo gets lost. And I'm trying to figure out some really great techniques on trying to maintain my eyeshadow, you know, so it doesn't get lost underneath the hood. But if you want to know the color that I'm using, I'm actually using this really pretty kind of champagne color here. And that's what I'm placing. Now we're going to go in with this brown right next to it here and we're going to use that to blend and buff around it okay remember no harsh lines okay and it looks like i lost some of my champagne so i'm going to go back in Again, and make sure I get that back in there. Okay, I am not great with shadows, so please don't come for me. Okay, a tip will be greatly appreciated, but don't come for me, sis, because I'm telling you from now, I'm learning. Shadows not my thing. Um, but yeah, I think this is pretty good. So we're gonna go back to the next eye. And we're gonna start the process over again. We're gonna start with that purple again. And we're gonna go ahead and bring it in. I'm gonna go in with that brown again. My favorite, you can tell, I'm already hitting pan. So, yeah. And we're gonna go in to kinda Define where the crease of the eye is. Hit right here on the ends and just kind of really work that in there. Very nice, very nice. We're almost done, guys. Almost done. I'm gonna go back in a little bit more and just hit that V. I really want to check out some really great eyeshadow videos, honestly. Um, so that way I can get my eyeshadow game up because sometimes like the shadow, it just does everything for the look. 
when you're able to finesse it. So I would like to get to that point. All right, so now we're gonna go in and we're gonna add our champagne color. Again, this is not a lot, and this is just more so of placing the pigment on the eye where I want it. Trying not to drag it up too much, but um, again, this hooded eye situation definitely makes things a challenge for me when it comes to my shadow, right? And then we'll go in and just dust over. Eliminated any harsh lines we've created. Yeah. And I think that's good. I'll take my beauty blender one more time. The bottom, well, actually, the side where I used to put underneath. And I will just be making sure if there's any fallout, uh, we catch that early. And this is also now a good time for me to go ahead and right, reset underneath the eyes because I didn't add any translucent powder and I don't want any creases. So we're gonna go ahead with my little mini translucent powder. Um, I went over this in my very first video. I'll try to remember to leave it down in the description box if you're interested. So yeah, I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna add this underneath my eye. Right? And the little bit that's left, I'm just gonna use it to set my face really quickly, All right? Just wake it up a little bit. Make sure I get my smile lines and places on my face where it creases. And yeah, let's try to keep this thing smooth. Okay. I'm not a baker. I don't like things to sit on my face too long. So now that we did that, I'm definitely gonna go in. And actually I'll use this Ruby Kisses No More Blemish. And I'll actually just kind of go over that some, just to eliminate any extra white cast that I don't want. And you can tell this is new because I just, uh, you know, use a sponge for the first time, but In those areas where we use that concealer, we want to make sure we set it. And that is done. We're going to go in for lips now. And I think I'm just going to be doing something really simple. I'm going to take, I'm going to go back in with this pencil and I'm going to use this for a liner right now. Yeah. Oh, I do have a really, okay. I think I could use my little brown lipstick thing here. And this is also LA Colors Matte Lip. I use this in my fall makeup look as well. It's a really cute little brownie. This still gives you that natural lip, all right? Without doing too much. Yeah, I think this is cute. So all I'm gonna do now is add a little bit of this Fenty Glow. You can see it. And this is 
<laughs> the Fenty Glow, right? So we're just gonna drop a little bit of this here. And we're gonna add a little bit to the heights of our cheeks. I know I said I wasn't gonna do a lot, I know, but every girl loves a little glow. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this and take it underneath my brows. I really like the shimmer in it. And right here on the bridge of my nose. And my loves, that is it. Tell me what you think. Really simple, cute little look. And I have to get my spray bottle. So give me one second so that way we can start working on this hair. Okay, guys. So I'm back. I went and found my trusty spray bottle for my leave-in conditioner to spray down my hair. I did go ahead and add my little wing and my lashes off camera because that's a whole task within itself and that wasn't gonna happen on camera. So I went ahead and did that. So this is the final look as far as the makeup. Tell me what you think about it. Yeah, so that's that. Now let's get into uh, trying to moisten this hair. I'm not gonna do a lot. Again, this is really quick because I'm gonna be recording. I don't want the clothes to be wet. So this is just a quick little moisten of these curls. Get everybody acting right, looking nice and juicy as they should, right? That's that side. And this is this side over here. And again, I'm just gonna spray it down a little bit. Not a lot. Try not to spray my face. Okay. Wanna work that water through. Loosen the curls up a bit so they flowy. Stiff where? We don't want it stiff here, okay? So, yeah, let's do this. Good. Get those ends. Give it a little scrunch. Okay. And yeah. So, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm not making this too long. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Quick, get ready with me. And stay tuned because I'll be back with the clothing haul from Shein. Nice little full look. Um, and I hope to see you ladies there. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Make sure you share this. It really helps my channel. And I appreciate your support. And I'll see you guys in another one. Stay beautiful. Thank you.